Listen and practice. Do you have any English speaking friends? Do you have any English speaking friends? Yes, I have a few. It's great to have people to practice with. Yes, I have a few. It's great to have people to practice with. Maybe I should join some English speaking groups. How long have you been learning English? Maybe I should join some English speaking groups. How long have you been learning English? I've been learning for about five years, but there's always more to learn. I've been learning for about five years, but there's always more to learn. That's impressive. How do you build your listening skill? That's impressive. How do you build your listening skill? I listen to podcasts, watch TED Talks, and follow English news regularly. I listen to podcasts, watch TED Talks, and follow English news regularly. I should start doing that. How do you remember irregular verb? I should start doing that. How do you remember irregular verb? Flashcards and repetitive practice help me master them over time. Flashcards and repetitive practice help me master them over time. I'll create flashcards for those. Do you think taking English courses is beneficial? I'll create flashcards for those. Do you think taking English courses is beneficial? Yes, formal courses can provide structure and targeted learning. Yes, formal courses can provide structure and targeted learning. I might consider enrolling in one. What's the most challenging aspect of learning English for you? I might consider enrolling in one. What's the most challenging aspect of learning English for you? For me, it's phrasal verbs. They can be quite confusing. For me, it's phrasal verbs. They can be quite confusing. I struggle with them too. Do you ever make mistakes when speaking English? I struggle with them too. Do you ever make mistakes when speaking English? Absolutely. Making mistakes is part of the learning process. Don't be afraid to speak. Absolutely. Making mistakes is part of the learning process. Don't be afraid to speak. Thanks for the encouragement. Do you know any fun ways to practice English? Thanks for the encouragement. Do you know any fun ways to practice English? Playing word games like Scrabble or doing crossword puzzles can be enjoyable and educational. Playing word games like Scrabble or doing crossword puzzles can be enjoyable and educational. I'll give those a shot. What's your long-term goal with English? I'll give those a shot. What's your long-term goal with English? I'd love to become fluent and travel to English-speaking countries without any language barriers. I'd love to become fluent and travel to English-speaking countries without any language barriers. That sounds amazing. How often do you revise what you've learned? That sounds amazing. How often do you revise what you've learned? Regular revision is crucial. I often review my notes and flashcards. Regular revision is crucial. I often review my notes and flashcards. I need to be more consistent with that. Are you using any online English courses? I need to be more consistent with that. Are you using any online English courses? Sometimes I take online courses to focus on specific skills like pronunciation or business English. Sometimes I take online courses to focus on specific skills like pronunciation or business English. Those sound helpful. How do you handle English slang and idioms? Those sound helpful. How do you handle English slang and idioms? I try to learn a few new ones each week and use them in conversations. 
I try to learn a few new ones each week and use them in conversations. I'll start doing that too. Thanks for all the advice. I'll start doing that too. Thanks for all the advice. You're welcome. Remember, consistent practice is the key to improvement. You're welcome. Remember, consistent practice is the key to improvement. I'll keep that in mind. Let's practice speaking together more often. I'll keep that in mind. Let's practice speaking together more often.